first stretch is the gluteus stretch, where you will cross the leg over with the ankle, making a figure four. You'll have the right arm going underneath, that's if you have the right leg on top. Left hand grows there, put the back down, and you pull as close to the body as you can, keeping your hips close to the floor. From here, you put the feet together into a butterfly leg stretch, grab the front, all right, you do it on your back against the wall. <laughs> so you put your back against the wall. Keep the feet together so you lean back. Place your hands on the knees so you can then use the wall as leverage to push the knees further down. From that position, you'll get your legs further apart and you'll just reach forward as far as you can, trying to grab for the toes or the heels or you just reach forward. Any one of those three variations will do. From there you do a reverse hamstring stretch where a normal hamstring stretch is where you just hang in place and not really get any benefits long term. So what you'll do is just gorge the distance that your hands are, get something that you can place just slightly below your maximum range, bend the knees to get your hands there then keeping them at that new range, you try to straighten the legs without lifting the hands up again. And you'll feel a big difference in how much the muscles actually stretch. So you're going to hold that and that's your reverse hamstring stretch. The final stretch is the quadriceps. You pull the heel towards the buttocks. And at the same time, make sure that that knee goes back in line with the other knee. Try not to arch the back or make it prominent, the lower arch. Keep your hips slightly tilted back so you can maintain spinal alignment. And that's your stretches, which will hold each one for 30 seconds. Some of them you'll alternate between the legs. Other ones, if you do both legs at the same time, you'll just repeat that twice. And that's your stretches.